we're here. What is up guys, my name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to RC Vlog. Yes guys, we are at the Traxxas store. The reason why we're at the Traxxas store is next week I'm going out of town. I'm actually going to New Mexico uh, in the mountains. It's gonna be a good time, uh, kind of buy towels. And I want something to bring, but I don't wanna bring in my old cars. I wanna bring a new car that I can <laughs> unbox. So we're gonna look for a car that's good to go camping with. I know I've already done a video like that in the past, uh, but not a TRX4, I'm definitely bringing a TRX4. Maybe something else. So let's go take a look around. We're just gonna do some old school shopping today. All right, the first thing when you look in, turn to the left, you see all the X Maxes. X Maxes are awesome. Obviously, I have way too many of them, but I wouldn't consider it a great camping car, especially because it's just so big. Uh, when you go camping, a lot of times you don't have a lot of space. So we're not gonna get an X Max, but look at how amazing these are. Uh, X01, not doing an X01 because we need an off road car. Usually when you go camping, it's off-road trails, stuff like that. But man, I don't have an orange one. All I have is green, it's really sad. I don't need another one, I'm just saying. UDR, another really, really large car. We're probably gonna pass up on the UDR to take camping. The Sledge, it's big and heavy. I guess you could take this one camping. What do you think? Is that a good camping car? E-Revo, I feel like those are kind of in the same class. The Max now, the Max would be a decent camping car. If you're wondering why I keep looking at these and not the TRX4s and I even mentioning TRX4s because I'm bringing a TRX4 no matter what. Um, however, sometimes they're just not fast enough. So I want something else that I can bring that's kind of fast. So the Max is a good option. Look at all the crazy accessories. By the way, that's the door. We turn left. We're going to go through everything today. It's been a while since we've done a shopping video here at Traxxas. Here are all the TRX4s. Again, I am bringing a TRX4 camping. So we're not going to spend too much time on these, but I do love the TRX4 so much. Look at, they just got cars all over the place. All the cool bodies of the TRX4. So here is one that I am highly considering. A Rustler 4x4. I have one, but I want to get something new. Uh, the Haas is also a good option. I have a whole bunch of Haas's, needless to say. I had that problem where when they came out, I had got too many right off the bat. Ooh, look at that. What a, I, I thought about getting, <laughs> I thought about getting, bringing a nitro car, but the problem with nitro is I have a feeling I'm going to get out there and there's going to be something I need. Like, I, I mean, I can bring spare glow plugs. It just needs so many parts, fuel line, battery packs, things like that, that if I get out there and I don't have it, it's going to be kind of frustrating. So I feel like with nitro, you're going to have to pack a lot and maybe nitros aren't the friendliest when it comes to people that are trying to go camping in the piece. So we're gonna pass on a nitro car, but what do you guys think? Would you take a nitro car camping? The Revos look good. Oh man, they look so good. Okay, moving on. So these are good candidates. When you see the car that you think I should bring camping, let me know in the comments below. Stampede VXL, I actually have one of those brand new in box that I still need to do a review on. There's the Stampede brush stampedes with lights oh that's something else that you probably need when you're camping is you want lights just in case you gotta drive it at night and then all the rustlers all the different colorways the color schemes they look so freaking good bandit i thought about a bandit but the thing about a bandit is not four-wheel drive if it's really really rough terrain maybe not the most ideal <laughs> dogs are in the way Guys, I got a care package. This care package was given to me by my buddy Randy with Team Kick. We basically left it at the track, so this is for Mark. We're gonna open it up today, see what's in here. I, I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Oh, yes! Look at these. These are amazing. And I got, oh, I got a fan. I loaned a fan out to somebody. A Traxxas fan out to somebody at the track one day. I think he was running his sledge or maybe a E-Revo and he blew his fan up. And I robbed one off of my car and I said, no, you don't need to give it back. I was going to give him the fan, but he ended up paying me back. So thanks to that gentleman who paid me back. But these are slash car stands. I know that doesn't seem any like anything crazy. However, the reason why this is a big deal is because slashes have a really, really weird chassis that most car stands don't work. Like whenever you put it on there, it kind of leans. Here, I'll actually show you. 
Here's a car stand. So here is a normal car stand. Here is a slash. So basically, whenever you put it on there, like they always kind of lean because they have this part that kind of protrudes out. Also, it has these chassis braces. But Team Kick now has car stands that are designed for the slash and designed for the bandit. So it looks like he gave me two bandit stands. Very, very cool. And two slash stands. So these are for like the mud bosses. Anything with a high center of gravity. I believe the bandit stand will probably work with the LCD chassis. But we're gonna put one of these together and I'll show you what I mean. All right, I got it all put together. Here's what it looks like. What's really cool about it is it folds up for easy storage and transport. Look at that. Nice and thin, nice small profile. However, here it is. It actually tells you which way the front is. But you can see on the bottom of the slash you have these big chassis braces and this big protrusion out of the middle. Protrusion? Yes, I think so. Anyways, look. I mean, it fits perfectly on there. Now this one is made for mud bosses, so the tires will still kind of touch a little bit, but most of the weight is on the chassis, which is awesome. But I've always wanted a slash stand, and I no one never really made one, but now they do. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Team Kick, I think it's teamkick.com forward slash racing. Either way, it'll be in the description below. Go check it out. These are awesome. Look at that. And then they have the bandit one for the LCG chassis. Super cool. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Team Kick. Now back to the shopping video. Ooh, a summit. What do you guys think about a summit? Summit would be cool. However, summit's massive. So you got that problem with having to carry a massive vehicle with you. Is that orange? Kind of looks pink. That's interesting. On road car. We're not doing on road. We got to do an off road car. Okay, so here is another really, really good contender. You guys have been wanting me to do a review on a Mini E Revo. I haven't done a review on a Mini E Revo. I have a couple of them. What do you think? Mini E-Revo? Is that a good one? That purple and orange looks super sick. More on-road cars. We're not doing on-road. <laughs> and then Slashes. I love the Slash, guys. Honestly, I, the Slash is probably my favorite car. It's just so versatile. Now that I'm racing Mud Boss, I love the, the Mud Boss. But you can do Spec Slash Mud Boss. You can make it a Basher. You can make it a Speed Car. There's just so many things you can do with the Slash. Uh, and I'm talking about the two-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive is really cool too, but there's not as many spec racing classes with the four-wheel drive. But if you were to get a four-wheel drive, I highly suggest you get the Ultimate. I love the Traxxas Ultimate. I think I have, do I have two or three of those? I have a whole bunch of them, but they come with all the accessories. So like all the anodized aluminum pieces, which look, this is something new. I, I just noticed this. I noticed this the other day I was in here. Look at this aluminum. You guys see that? It's not like a shiny. It's like a brushed aluminum, almost like a, a flat look. It's really interesting. I think they're starting to do that on theirs. I like it. I like the flat colors. But I have... Oh, come on. Put it back on. You got this. You got this. I have both colors. And the last camping trip I went to, I did take a Slash 4x4. I definitely highly recommend you take it, just in case there's a track or something that you want to go to. You can drive it, but I've already taken one of those camping, so we're not going to do it this time. Moving on. Oh, look at these. Those are all kind of their custom ones, but... Alright, so we walked in that way. We went all over here. And we went through here, so now we're going to go on to this side. What about a boat? You guys think I should bring a boat? I've never done boats. It's a little, uh... I don't want to do anything I, I, I'm not sure I can fix out there. So we're going to pass on a boat. Here's the hosses. All the accessories. These are all the sledge accessories. The sledge is, actually they have that good promo with sledge right now. I think you get a free light kit and a Bluetooth module. I need to double check on that. But there is a sledge special. I'll put a link in the description below to all the Traxxas specials. You might want to see here it is. Look. So look, this is shiny. See, this is more like a matte color. You see that? Oh my God, look at that. That's like a, oh no, that's still kind of shiny. I thought that was like a matte gray. But yeah, they're doing more of these matte colors. I like those. Okay, moving on. By the way, guys, these are still, these are still on sale. I'll put a link in the description. You can get these online at that price. I think there's a special coupon code, which I will find and put in the description. But two for $2.99, incredible deal. And you have so many cool options. 
my two favorites. Actually, I can't even pick a favorite. I think they're all really cool. But this one's probably my favorite. But all of them look so freaking good. Two for two nine nine, insane deal. One hundred fifty dollars each. You really can't beat it. And look at the original price, two thirty nine. Insane. Don't pass up on that deal, guys. You need to get those. Sorry, guys. Evan corrected me. It's two twenty nine. This is for the uh, the chassis. See now now you're on now you're on the vlog. How do you feel about that? This display always gets me. I'm a big sucker for TRX fours, but look at how sweet all these are. I can't even pick which one my favorite is. Look at this color, the copper, freaking insane. Love the maroon. This one is probably my favorite one ever. <laughs> There's just too many great options. But speaking of TRX fours, check this out. They have all the color TRX four sport high trails, the high trail sports, by far my favorite. But check this one out. The blue, this is a different, like kind of like a metallic blue, not like the old TRX4 Sport. And then it comes with those sick wheels and tires. Those are the two two wheels and tires. Two twos are slightly larger than the stock ones. And this one's higher, and I believe it's actually a little bit wider also. But again, that's a maroon, which the original TRX4 Sport, they had red and blue, but they weren't that metallic color. Those look so sweet. Super sweet. Look at all these TRX 4M bodies. You know what? I have so many TRX 4Ms right now. If this video gets 3,000 likes and you comment below, we will give away one of my TRX 4Ms. 3,000 likes, comment below. Every time I do this, y'all destroy the like, the like goal. So go do that and I'll give away one of my TRX 4Ms. It's going to be a defender because I have so many defenders, but I need to give some away. So 3,000 likes, smash the like and comment below more accessories accessories galore drag slashes oh man this place is just too awesome i could spend all day here i mean i even like the this bandits bandits might be one of my favorite cars right now especially since they're doing the the bandit oval thing i love bandit oval it's so much fun and it's so cheap and affordable oh highly suggest getting a bandit you can do so much with those also but man this guy's right here. This is why you guys call me a Traxxas fanboy. How many people have this many parts? This type of part support by your house. I mean, how can you not drive Traxxas when you got that kind of part support by your house? It's insane. Guys, what's y'all's opinion on this? They sell the arms by like singles. Do you like that? Do you not like that? I kind of like it, but I can kind of see how you feel like you should be getting both. But how often do you break both arms? You usually always break one arm and then you buy a whole bunch of packs and you have too many lefts or too many rights. But what is y'all's opinion on them selling arms by the singles? The only thing that sucks about selling arms by the singles, if you decide you want to do all the different colors or different colors, you got to buy eight packs of arms instead of four because there's uppers and lowers. What do you guys think? There's another one, guys, that I need to do. I haven't done a Traxxas Rally review or any type of Traxxas Rally content on my channel yet and a lot of people have been asking for it that's a decent camping car should i buy that one for camping we're buying something today so we don't know what it is and you guys won't know what it is until i actually go camping and i shoot that vlog there so make sure you turn on the notification bell and subscribe otherwise you're gonna miss miss out on what i'm buying today all right guys so for complete transparency i again i have done a video where i talked about my favorite camping vehicles Again, the Slash Ultimate is on there. The Rustler 4x4 is on there. And another car that I brought, and I think I did some content on a camping car, is the Teton. Small, quick, it comes with everything you need. The pre-runner is probably just as fun. I have plenty of pre-runners. Those are the ones we race in my driveway. So this is also a good option. Again, I want to buy some today, so I want to buy some that I don't take camping often. And uh, that's what you guys are going to have to wait and see till next vlog. But the TRX4M, another really, really great option. I'm bringing my TRX4 with me. So don't worry. You guys are going to see that while I'm out camping. But man, this store, it really is something else. So much fun. Oh, there it is. See, look. I, don't, I act like I, I walked right past it. I got the boxes, but come on, guys. Do I do it? Do I get one? Oh, they look so sick. Well, that's a wrap, guys. In the comments, what did I buy? I bought something. Super stoked. I'm not going to open and play with it until I go camping. Make sure you like and subscribe because you don't want to miss it. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. 
and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.